a brand spanking new trailer for Deadpool 2 just dropped. And oh man, this thing is packed with all sorts of tasty little nuggets. So of course, we had to grab our fellow deadheads. Wait, uh, that's not right. Uh, anyways, let's break this thing down. <laughs> mm. Right off the bat, we get an Easter egg that is super meta. This Air Supply song seems to be a nod to Ryan Reynolds' comedy classic Van Wilder, where he sings the song in the scene in the film. Are you okay? I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. And oh yeah, look, the Pender's back. And it looks like he's been helping Deadpool get out of all sorts of trouble between the two films. Oh, it's a Pender. Big fan of Dopender. Here we get Deadpool doing what he does best, like, you know, cutting off people's heads. But this time he's doing it in Japan. Fun fact, Deadpool is actually pretty big in Japan as well, so this kind of makes sense. Sorry I'm late. I was rounding up all the gluten in the world and launching into space where it can't not hurt us ever again. Here we see Wade coming home to Vanessa after a mission. And of course he drops a joke that is clearly referencing Superman 4. When Superman gathers all of the world's nuclear arsenal and chucks it into space. Okay, so Ryan Reynolds has tweeted about gluten 4. I think he wrote that line and put it in. I'm here for the kid. All right, this next one here is important. Here we finally get a little bit of backstory as to why Cable is here in this time era. He wants to kill a kid? Wow, brutal. And that kid in question is still not directly named, but you'll recognize him from the first trailer when he gave us all the finger. And next we get our first scene proving just how much of a badass Cable is. He takes out Deadpool with ease. He didn't even break a sweat. <laughs> Cable looks like a bona fide badass. Okay, here's our first lightly meta, or maybe heavily meta joke, from the studio that brought you 27 dresses and the Devil Wears Prada. This is just another example of the marketing genius behind these movies. Right here we get another shot of the kid that Cable is after, and it seems like he's a super powerful mutant, but he isn't totally in control of his powers. And hey, another familiar face. Negasonic is back, and this time with a cooler haircut. Also, this time she brought along a friend. This is yet another role that is left unnamed for now. We think she might be the character Surge, a mutant with electrical abilities. And bam, we get fan favorite Colossus back. This time, Deadpool is giving him a friendly little squeeze. Here we get two pretty awesome things to see. The X-Men's Blackbird is back, and here's Deadpool sitting in what we assume is Professor X's chair, just kind of messing around, of course. What's of note with these shots is that it looks like Deadpool's gonna be actually going into the mansion this time. Terry Crews, okay. Here we see everyone's favorite big man, Terry Crews. Originally, it was believed that he was gonna be playing George Washington Bridge, but it's looking like he's gonna be playing a different character named Bedlam. Oh, is Rob Delaney's in this movie too? Wow. Okay, in what seems like really random casting, we get comedian Rob Delaney, playing what looks like a character named Pete, possibly Pete Wisdom from the comics? If so, he's an English mutant that can absorb solar energy and create thermal knives. We will be known as X-Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. Okay, this one here is a big deal. Deadpool officially names his supergroup X-Force. This is too awesome. All right, if you kind of pause here and look in the back of the shot, you can see actor Bill Skarsgård, better known as Pennywise, the killer clown monster thing from it. Pennywise is looking good. We're not totally sure who he's playing yet. He's part of the list of yet to be named characters, but he could possibly be playing a character named Solo. Not sure yet, but we'll have to wait and see. Right here we see at least what appears to be a nod to Deadpool's black and gray costume from the amazing Rick Remender run of X-Force. Okay, so he could be covered in ash and dust from what looks like some sort of explosion or battle, but it's a pretty obvious nod. Okay, wait, pause. We're pretty sure that's Lindsay Lohan in the back of that shot. Random. Nat? is why Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants is pure pornography. Oh, God, I wish I finished college. And here we're getting towards the end of the trailer and we end with another meta reference, this time to the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, a film which Ryan Reynolds' real life wife, Blake Lively, was in. I'm in. It looks like the first movie, but just bigger and better. That looks dope. It lives up to the hype. Plus, plus. Fuck it, they probably won't even make a three. Yeah, why would they? Stop it too, you killed it. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys, that's all for now. This movie looks awesome. Bigger, better, and crazier than before. For more on Deadpool and all of his wacky friends, check back at Fandom. <laughs>